The next error we will look at is the error of principle. This occurs when the correct amount is entered on the correct side of the wrong class of account. Now the different class of accounts are assets, liabilities, expenses and income. Now there's a difference between the error of commission and the error of principle and we will outline them here. The error of commission has to deal with your personal accounts. This contains your debtors and your creditors while the error of principle deals with a class of accounts which is for assets, liabilities, expenses and income. So when correcting the error we first need to remove from the wrong account either from the wrong personal account or from the wrong class of account. Let's have a look at an example. Paid for fuel by debit card $400 this transaction was entered in the vehicles account. So already we can see fuel is an expense, vehicle is an asset. Now let's have a look at how this was recorded. Bank was credited which is fine because we paid with a debit card but vehicles was debited in place of fuel so we need to correct this in the general journal again first we need to write the date and then the account to be debited which is fuel and the account to be credited will be vehicles and the narration will be fuel by debit card recorded in vehicles account error now corrected let's move on to our general ledger now firstly how this was recorded bank was credited which is fine but vehicles was debited in place of the fuel account now let's have a look at how this error is corrected remember we said we should first remove from the wrong account so in this case we will remove the amount from the wrong account which is vehicles that means we need to credit vehicles and then we will debit fuel now bank is an asset and our vehicles account is also an asset and both of them increase on the debit side and decrease on the credit side so if we want to decrease our vehicles account we'll need to put an entry on the credit side and this is exactly what we did and after we entered the amount on the credit side the balance of the vehicles account will be zero and now to finish rectifying our error we will need to debit fuel and since fuel is an expense and our expenses increase on the debit side we have a debit entry on our fuel account let's have a look at how this affects our trial balance in our incorrect trial balance we see a debit balance for vehicles which should not be there because the money was used for fuel and not for vehicles but our trial balance balances if we have a look at our correct trial balance we will credit our vehicle account with dollars, which would bring the total of the vehicles account to zero and then we would debit our fuel account with dollars. and after we corrected the error the trial balance still balances so again before the error was corrected the trial balance balanced and after the error was corrected the trial balance still balances and again this is what you need to look out for when dealing with the errors that do not affect the trial balance let's move on to another error 